Hi guys and girls on YouTube. Um, I've got a really interesting fault on this NAD Vintage 5520 CD player and uh, it's so interesting I thought you'd give you a quick look on YouTube. Uh, now CD players don't usually have sound faults um, but take a look at this. I'm playing a test disc um, and we should be playing a 1 kilohertz um, audio tone. So if I take it off pause now and we listen As you can see, it's making a rather strange buzzing noise. Um, now, I've examined the diagram. I've just drawn this down to make it a bit easier to see. Um, so the output from the op-amp feeds a DC blocking capacitor. And then we've got a transistor used for mute, um, which is connected directly across the audio output. So effectively, that shorts out the audio output when it goes to mute. Um, now, I measure this test point here, and we do have a perfect 1 kilohertz test tone playing from the disc. So I'll just show you on the scope. So that's the one kilohertz test tone that's actually playing from the CD. Right, so if we actually connect the scope to the, the um, mute line, um, we've actually got um, a big ripple coming from somewhere and if you look at the frequency it's 100 hertz so there's only one place that can be coming from and that's the power supply so it actually turns out that the 100 hertz ripple signal um, is actually modulating um, the out the audio output uh, via that transistor um, now i've changed both bridge rectifiers because I've had trouble with rectifiers in the past uh, that didn't cure the fault um, I've checked the three reservoir capacitors and although they did seem to have a, um, a relatively high effective series resistance they give a very strange um, effect on my meter so if you look at this it actually says 0 0.18 ohms which is very high for a 2200 cap but it actually says in circuit. Um, now I've tried all three and they all say in circuit. I've even tried a different tester and that says in circuit. Um, but this is clearly there's something going on with these uh, Nishikon caps. Um, so just uh, if you look at the ESR 0.18 uh, we'll compare that with a brand new one. And that's the effective series resistance of a brand new one, 0 0.02 ohms. Um, but if you look at the top, it's actually reading the capacitance value, um, where these three, they don't, they just say in circuit. So obviously, there's something going on with these caps. Uh, we're going to put three new ones in, see what happens. Right, so that's the three new caps and the two bridge rectifiers that obviously didn't need changing anyway. Uh, but here's the result. It's in pause now, so it's mute. Press the play. If presence in progress is ours once more Now that we have the neutron bomb It's my son So there you go guys, most strange player. Um, obviously all three caps are faulty. Um, but you would have expected more to be wrong with this than just um, modulating the audio output at 100 hertz. Um, yeah, so there you go guys. I'll see you in the next video. And click, and click.